Good afternoon, everyone. We are gathered here today to talk about the eight-month, uh, eight-month work placement internship experience uh, in our respective companies. In our case, um, MJ Flood Technology. Now, first, we're going to talk about MJ Flood, its history, location, and then we're going to the management team. From there, we're going to move forward to the products and services. After that, we're going to summarize all the necessary responsibilities that were given to us by our supervisors at, uh, from the work placement here that we have. Then, for the conclusion, we're going to identify or determine the significance of the work placement program, not uh, in the learning process, not only for the student, but for the college as well. Okay? Now, at first, uh, Anthony will discuss more about the uh, MJ Flood Total Business Solution. Afternoon, my name is Anthony Jacob. I'll be taking this through a few of the slides there. So, uh, just a brief history on it, but not too much. It was founded in 1935 by Michael John, Michael John Hood, who originally started the company as a kind of a typewriter repair company, which is kind of carried over today with their involvement in modern printers. And as John will take it through in the next slide. And the main office is based in Baldona, where we were working. They had a few other branches around Ireland, uh, including Belfast as well, but the one in Baldona would be the main one, with roughly 150 people, and that's not definite. There were people in the Dominance who had we were working there, and it's, it's kind of hard to get down. But that's just in the office where we were, we, uh, where we were working. Um, it has a few different departments that have developed over the years since it was originally founded. As John the next slide. Um, so this is the main manager, management team that were in the company with James Big was the managing director. He was he'd be kind of a head on the place. Uh, he managed the sales team and he'd be kind of looking out for the company, doing what he can to expand it. Like most of the time we were there, he wasn't he'd be away at an event or like jumping from one meeting to another. Um, then Gareth Madden, the sales director, he, he was up usually in the office as well, but like same as uh, James, he's always in the one meeting or another. But his main responsibility would be just looking for a future opportunities for the company to take back. And the two guys that we are most in touch with during the placement, Chair Halpin, who uh, most of you might remember, he did the interview with us when we when he first came in, and we all did the presentation on our first day. And Joe was just that, uh, he was our supervisor for the whole team, just looked around for us if he needed around, we talked to him. And then Guido, kind of a, a member of the sales team, who his main job was uh, anything to do with cloud services, but we are usually staying with him. He's very nice guy. For the products and services, so MJ Flood provides uh, various products and services. So that it could be divided into four divisions the printing and imaging, the office interior contracting, office supplies, and then technology. Now, later on, we're going to focus more on the technology side because that's where we are designated to begin with. Okay? So, printing and imaging. MJ Flood is the main distributor of Connie Caminota machines here in Ireland. So these are these big machines, laser printers and copiers that are part of the of managing printer services. Now also MJ Flood uses uh, managed print services to optimize document output, drive down cost, hence improving efficiency and productivity. For the office interior contracting, contracting MJ Flood designs, expands, and provides solutions for commercial office interiors to all kinds of environment. So basically, MJ Flood offers you creative architecture that uh, can be used in all types of office interiors. And that this includes uh, walls, chairs, and more. For the office supplies, uh, MJ Flood provides competent and uh, convenient source of high quality stationary products such as A4 bond papers, um, post-its, and, and more. Now, for the technology, it provides four products um, or services, which is the cloud, mobility, 
big data, and IoT embedded things. For the cloud, MD Flood uses cloud technology to virtualize IT infrastructure uh, for better managing and delivery. So, what do you mean by that? So, basically, all the necessary systems for a company or organization, or all the necessary systems for their clients, they put it in a virtualized environment using a virtualization technology such as VMware. And these uh, virtualized environments are actually stored or located at MJ Flood cloud systems. Okay, so, so they're going to be happy you're doing VMware then? Yes, because uh, most, most of the agents there actually use VMware for, for their clients for troubleshooting and uh, this is for better high support, maintenance, and scalability. And what those kiosks, what are they What are they doing? These are the internet, so these are retail digital kiosks. So you know the way when you go to shops, you see these big screens, and then you can click on it and you can portion it. It's actually the same thing, but smarter, because this kiosk can actually identify or record the number of people using the uh, device itself, and it will it can actually identify the demographic, demographic such as age or whether you're female or male. That's why it's called, it's part of the Internet of Things. Okay? And uh, for mobility, uh, they have this, the, in partnership with Microsoft, they provide Office 365, which we can use to uh, access office resources or any other resources for that matter, whenever you, wherever you are, easier and easier. For big data, they use system as well, like uh, Tom said, Azure backup solutions. So it's a sophisticated application that could actually uh, backup, recover, and store in our own amount of data. That is so interesting because another module that's going to be part of this year three is Internet Things, um, as well as um, <coughs> data storage and all that stuff as well. So this course is, 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 is written for MJ for really. And so these are just examples of some of their products and services, the printers, as you can see, and then cloud, and the chairs, and looks at that one on the upper uh, right corner is the, uh, the architectural design and stationery. Okay, move on there, guys. Tell us what you did. <laughs> this, is where, this is actually where we're going at. What did the chase there? Yeah, so uh, Anthony will start uh, telling us the, some of this uh, summary of the responsibilities that we have. Two minutes left. So I mean, the, the first project that we were involved in was uh, to do with uh, just setting up uh, for the kiosk that John was talking about, setting up the, the desktops that were going to be installed. And so to do that, we uh, to prep them. We just we installed a lot of the company's own software and a lot of the security software and the, the VMware cloud we say on them. And we did that for the first few few months. Um, like, um, and some of the software that we installed in it had to do with facial recognition and heat protection software just so back to the company they'd be able to see like who's coming to this who's coming to the kiosk and like they'd be able to get all the data and they could tailor it to how they how they place the kiosk and all the main project that we that we did for the for the eight months was uh, working with the AA doing logical migration for so they could bring on our service over to the UK. Um, it was a pretty basic procedure. Um, also, what we did was just we do some pre-check mode that I did, um, where we just made sure everything was ready to be migrated afterwards. After I had to migrate by one of the engineers, we make sure everything had carried over. We did that for about three, June to, June to July, and um, about 300 people in the office spread all over uh, three different buildings in uh, St. William Street in town. Now, mostly our, responsi our responsibility with that is more on computer systems and uh, digital science. So we're not going to bore you anymore with regards to the sites, but we sometimes we were actually uh, designated or sent to different sites, just St. Vincent's, and then earlier on the GBA the Odona, which is located at the Marine Square, and uh, mostly prepare our computer systems. So with regards to the uh, conclusion, I can say that we definitely learned a new set of skills. Um, we will be able to build future contacts for future character references. And uh, this one is very important, improve the college certification and profile. 
definitely because you're looking for an A, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're going to go. Okay.